So there's a study that was just published in the New England Journal of Medicine, which is one of the most reputable medical journals that answers this exact question. The most common side effects were pain, redness, and swelling at the site where the injection occurs. And there were some mild to moderate whole body side effects like fever, headache, or muscle aches. These resolved rapidly. Over 44,000 people were enrolled in the trial. Half were to get the vaccine and half were to get placebo. You can see after the first dose of the vaccine, not very many people got sick, this red line here. In the placebo group, the blue line, a lot more people got sick over time. The little box shows that in the first couple days after getting the vaccine, there wasn't much of a difference in the rates of infection, which makes sense because it takes time for the body to develop immunity, which is why the second dose is given at day 21. After the first dose, efficacy is around 52%, but after the second dose, it's 95%. Now that's some big time fiction. Yeah, it absolutely does not alter your own DNA. It works via mRNA technology, which doesn't get inside the nucleus at all, which is where your DNA is located. So the virus itself has on its surface, these proteins called spike proteins. And if we generate antibodies against spike proteins, then we confer immunity for the most part. So that's what we want to do, but we don't want to use the entire virus. So when you look at the genetic material inside the virus that encodes all of the proteins and everything that has to be in the virus, when you look at all of it spread out, there's only a little tiny bit that's important to make the spike protein. So scientists took that little tiny bit in red and put it into a delivery vesicle. That delivery vesicle is a coat of lipids that looks just like the surrounding of your cell. That allows that to fuse to the human cell when it gets in you, drops the RNA into the cell. The cell uses those instructions to make spike protein and you have spike protein that the immune system can recognize. And when the immune system recognizes and mounts a response, you get antibody. One. The new vaccine has a high chance of preventing you from getting sick, but we aren't 100% sure you can't spread it to others. This is an asymptomatic infection. Two, some vaccines require one or more booster shots to provide maximum protection. You won't know where someone else is in their vaccination schedule and how protected they are. Three, you don't know who has and who hasn't been vaccinated. We can remove masks when there's a consistent decline in new cases and deaths and less viral spread.